Isn't that beautiful? A little hummingbird dropping away. Ah, it's amazing. Can't be more than a couple inches long, eyeing me warily. Oh, bubbles. So, okay, so this is Pine Mountain Observatory, just east of Bend in Oregon, and you're getting into the high desert here, so they have quite clear skies, although at the moment it's rather patchy because they've got all the forest fires down in California, which if the wind blows the right way can blow a load of dirt and shit in the air up this way. There's one of their scopes, and there's another one just through the trees there. And the scopes go up to about ooh, 32 inches, I think. And they're very kindly. I've been there for a few days. They've invited me to stay in the guest house where people stay when they're actually working on the telescopes. It's a bit quiet here at the moment, so there's there's plenty of room. So, I'm just going to give you a quick tour of what it looks like to uh, stay in an observatory on the mountain in the middle of nowhere. And it's a real curious mismatch of really low-tech, this looks like a black and white TV, and really high-tech, like, uh, that's Wi-Fi, probably can't see that. So, this is where we are, Pine Mountain Observatory. And so this is what the sleeping quarters look like. And all the windows are blacked out, of course. And they've got loads of journals here, astronomy journals, including journals like Mercury. And you'll also notice that the sheets have uh, <coughs> a rather spacey theme to them. And if we come into this one, we find... Other, yeah, there's loads of really interesting uh, geological and astronomical stuff here. Astronomical journal. What else we got? Ah, white holes. And also things like this. An atlas of extreme ultraviolet spectroheliograms in that wavelength there. So these are actually pictures of the sun in the ultraviolet. I don't know when they were taken. But, I mean, in the day, these would have cost an absolute fortune. These were like a couple of grand a piece or something. Anyway, and there's just somewhere else to sleep. One of the reasons that I am eternally grateful for this, uh, for being invited to stay here, is twofold. First of all, I have not eaten off porcelain plates for over a month, nor have I slept in a bed for over a month, nor have I actually had a shower in over a month. You know, I've been making do with washing in glacial streams, eating what's available, and then for the large part I just sleep in the car for the simple reason if you're travelling alone, there it just slows you down too much to actually find a campsite, pitch a tent, take it down again, and then you got to yeah, find some food complete pain in the ass. Anyway, now I've got a load more uh, time lapse of one sort or another and I've got some fantastic pictures so far. I'll hopefully be doing a load more tonight. And then probably moving on south to ooh, into California. See what their forest fires are like from the air.